Now that you have registered with GCPay and notified your general contractor that you have do done so, you will receive an email notification that your general contractor has added you to the project. Once you receive this notification, please log into GCPay and click on Projects in the top left. Here you will find a list of projects that you have been added to. The project we are going to work on today is the Point Casino Event Project, and we can click on the project name to enter. You will never see email is disabled. You only see that now so that people do not re receive email notifications during this training. When you log in, you will see that Course Mode Construction creates your schedule of values. There is an application for payment section and a change order section. And you also see that Course Mode creates your change orders. At this point, there is very little that you're able to do, but the very next email notification you will receive will notify you that your schedule of values is ready to be broken out. We refresh the page, you will see now that you have an outstanding compliance issues section. And we may click here to view our compliance issues. Anywhere in GCPay that you see a blue dialog box is basic information for that page. You may also view more information on how that page operates. I'd also like to point out at this time that anywhere at the bottom of any page in GCPay is our support line. We support the product 24 seven. So anytime that you may have a question, please feel free to reach out to our support line and they'd be happy to help you. You will find here that, that Corsmo is asking for a bit of information from you. And these are your compliance documents that Corsmo is asking for. Union affidavit, insurance certificate, any of these documents here are required. You will be able to download a cover sheet from this section. And you will find that here. This information is going to show the project information, your company name, and the compliance item itself. This QR code here to the right notifies our system exactly where to upload your compliance document. So please include the cover page at the time of submittal. Furthermore, it will show you fax instructions as well as upload instructions. If you do have the document saved to your computer, you can simply click on upload and upload the document there. Otherwise, you will fax the instructions or email it using the cover page so that our system uploads it to the correct compliance item. The time that you submit this, the compliance officer with Corsmo will be notified, at which time they will update that information and this will no longer be required from you. Back on the overview page, below the, the compliance issues, we will see that the schedule of values has been established by Corsmo, and you may now click edit below to enter the details. Again, in blue, these are instructions on how this page operates. You may also click more information if you'd like assistance with that. Again, at the bottom of every page is our support line and our email. However, on this page, you will find the contract start date, that this is a document submitted from Heart Business, so you as the subcontractor, and it is submitted to Core Smoke Construction. The biggest part of this page, however, is action required. The total value of your schedule of values must be $25,122 as set by your reviewer. You're currently off by that same amount. There are two different ways that you can enter this information. One is to click on upload. If you have your schedule of values saved in Excel format, you can absolutely upload your Excel. We do not require that you enter this information but so many times. We also provide you with a template that you can download and populate that information into if you'd like. Otherwise, you may manually enter this information. You will click on add, select the number of lines that you need, and you can continue to come back to this area. And you will fill out your description. And you'll notice as we enter our total value for that line, as this is not a billing, this is our schedule of values, we are now showing that you're $122 off from your scheduled amount. We will enter our second description. 
And as we are off by a penny, we are not able to submit this at this time. You must tie directly to this amount. So if you do not agree with this amount, you will want to reach out to Corsmo. Keep in mind, however, that this does not include change orders. Once we correct our amount, we will turn blue here and we will be able to save. The following page is our submit screen and you will also be able to review the information you have entered. This is an optional comment section. Should you wish to leave comments for your general contractor, they will receive those comments in their email notification. Now I have the status of submitted for my schedule of values. This has been sent to my general contractor and they will take a look and review this for you. Now that the review has been completed, when we refresh our screen, we will see that we have the large green create button to the right of applications for payment. You will also receive an email notification that the document has been approved. And you will see the status reflected here. Now we can create our first pay app and we'll click on the green create button here. We'll see application for payment number one. Standard retainage is 5% and retainage adjustments are currently locked. If at any time you disagree with the retainage amounts, again, you would want to reach out to Corsmo. The application date will default to the day you clicked on the create button and period two will default to the end of the month. If you do need to make changes to this calendar, you can certainly do so by clicking the calendar icon. Below, however, are our line items and you'll see that they reflect exactly what we submitted for our schedule of values and what was approved. And we may now enter billings against these amounts. So if we enter a dollar this period, we will calculate the percentage for you. If you enter a percentage, we will calculate the dollar amount. Notice, cannot overbill my line. Okay, so you will not be able to bill more than the scheduled amount. To the right, you'll see total completed and stored, the balance to finish on this line, and the amount that's being held in retainage. Below is the summary, which will show you original contract amounts, any change orders that are entered, the retainage calculation. However, line number eight, if this were approved right now, it would be approved for $19,000. As I make changes at the top, all information is shown live in the site. So you'll always be aware of what you're invoicing for. I will also issue $100 for materials stored. Now that I am comfortable with my payout, I will click on save. The following page, much like our schedule of values, we will be able to submit this document. However, before we do so, we must resolve all red links that are shown before us. Again, so that we can submit this application for payment, we must resolve all red links. First one is provide additional information about your contractors. This is essentially asking, do you have suppliers? If no, we'll click on no. For the purposes of this, we'll click on yes. Instructions at the top. However, we're essentially going to add any suppliers that we are using on this job. We can click on add vendor. If you have ever used us before in the past, we will save that information so that you do not have to enter the same sow supply information every time on a job. So you can simply select sow supply if you've ever used them previously on a job. Otherwise, if you were to add a new vendor, this is the information we would ask for. Company name, their contact information, and the address. And this is information that we will use when sending them supplier waivers. You'll type out a simple description of work, a contract amount that you have with them. The contract amount is not set in stone. You can absolutely update this on pay at number two because let's say you've ordered more supplies from them, you would certainly want that to be reflected here. The amount that is due this pay period. 
and we will click on save. This is confirming that the information that you have entered is correct to your ability. And you will notice that this red link is now resolved and we'll move on to the next one. Did you upload your current union affidavit? Or if non-union, did you submit your non-union documentation? If you've done so, you will check the box. Did you complete and upload your request for sub-tier information sheet? Did you complete and upload the monthly lien release form? We will be doing this here shortly. Here, you must do all of these and check the box that you acknowledge that. Otherwise, if I were to leave one empty, this remains red and must acknowledge all checkboxes. Next is the request for sub-tier information. You can download the template that they are providing you. And here is the, the document that Corsmo has provided to you. You will fill this out and upload this to the correct section. I will do so by choosing File and uploading the document. We are now resolved. Union Affidavit, same thing. Now, we need a lien waiver from you prior to submitting this application for payment. Clicking here, we will be able to download a copy of the waiver. Very similar to our compliance sheet, you will see the project information, QR code to the right, and you can email this document to docs at gcpay.com or fax it to our number. You may also, again, print this off, sign it, and directly upload it if you would like. Below, you will find the course mode waiver. And you will upload the application for payment. Once you have uploaded this, you'll see that the status is now uploaded. And if you recall, we build $100 of stored material. So clicking here, items below include invoicing for stored material. You must upload photos as well as certificate insurance. And you can do so by clicking upload. You can upload any information that you feel is pertinent to this and then click on okay. Again, you may review all of this information and you will submit. The final question is about your contract value confirmation. You will confirm that your current contract is correct at this amount, and you will be able to submit. Otherwise, if you are expecting change orders or you expected those change orders to be included on this payment application, you will check here, but you must, you are required to leave notes or course mode if you are doing this, but you will still be able to submit. I wish to submit, and now our status is submitted. What you'll see here is an SM, and all that means is stored materials. Very much like the schedule of values, a notification will then be sent to Corsmo to review your document. Once they have approved it, you will receive an email notification notifying you of this as well as the status update. And you will see here that the waivers link is purple. Clicking here, you will see that we have now sent an outstanding waiver to the supplier, in this case, Sal Supply, that we included. They will receive this information, fill out the waiver, and they will be able to send that via fax or email as well. This covers the surface level information included in GC Pay, but I always like to mention if you ever have any questions, please feel free to call our support line 24-7 and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you and have a good day.